From Broward, we go now to Miami-Dade, where residents are also dealing with those flooding frustrations. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero is live for us in North Miami with the reaction. Nakaya. Guys, we've been seeing it all day. Flood waters just like these streets right here on Northeast 121st Street on the side streets. That's where you're mainly seeing the flooding. And while the levels have shrunk and gone down significantly, the city of North Miami is saying this has been a tough couple days. And it's, it seems like North Miami has gotten the worst of the, the storms. But people are just trying to navigate, going about their daily lives while going through these flood waters. What made you make this decision? Um, honestly, I didn't want to trudge through the water. The water is filled with just so much pollutants. So I decided to just put two garbage bags on, go to the corner store and grab some essentials. Melissa Myers has been stuck by flood waters at her home for the past two days. So she had to get creative when it came time to go to the store. But she's not the only one facing obstacles. Too much water. I need to go in my house. I can go to my house. Thank you. Crystal Land is like so many people across South Florida. She says in 20 years of living in the North Miami area, this is a first. I lived there for, I lived there from 1996 to now. And has it ever been this bad? No, no, never, never, never. Sometimes they have water, but never, never like that. It's the first time. After working a long shift, she found herself stranded because flooding around her home. But instead of walking through the water, she found a plan B. I go, I, I call somebody who have a big truck to come and to get me and the CVS. But she's not the only one affected along Northeast 108th Street off Biscayne Boulevard. Yesterday was rain all day long, you know, and heavy rain. I never see like that flooding here. You know, it was flooding and so much car, so many cars was struck in the water. Mohamed Mola owns the discount food stop store on the corner of Northeast 13th Avenue. Since he opened in 2001, he has never seen anything like it. I lost a lot of business yesterday because of the water. You know, my most of the customer is uh, come walking, you know, they can't even come. Their water was like that high. Now, it seems like North Miami got a little bit of a break this evening from the rain, but it is starting to come down. And with that being said, the city of North Miami will continue sandbag distribution tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. along 1855 Northeast 142nd Street. Reporting live in North Miami, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.